Why, hello there. You're looking fine on this rather grim evening. It's the 31st of Frostfall, or October as you people on the blue planet say. Most people here in Skyrim stay inside on this most unholy night. And they have a good reason to. Legends tell of a horrible being, so gruesome that even the Dater Lords themselves fear it. It is said to stalk the streets at night and prey on the souls of the living. The way he goes about taking out his victims can only be heard in the darkest corners of this world, and I assure you, it's not the way you would want to go. Since you're here in my humble home, let me tell you a story. The full moon is still hid behind the clouds, so we should be safe. What is important is that you don't leave this house after midnight. I'm sure I can find a place for you to sleep. If you go outside after midnight at the end of Frostfall, he will come. <laughs> but now, over to the story. It all started in Markarth on a stormy and dark evening. A young Imperial couple had just arrived in the city and they were looking for shelter from the raging storm. But all the inns were full, there was no way in hell they would stay in the Warrens. They were soon approached by a young Dunmer, who told them that he owned a house which he never used at this time of the year. He gave them the keys and some directions to get there. The young couple was surprised at the sudden hospitality, but didn't question him. They thanked the Dark Elf and went towards the house and took shelter from the storm there. Wow, this place sure is dusty! Oh, stop your whining, Greg. At least it beats being outside. Ah, true, true. It's kind of strange who just let us stay here for the night, don't you think? I mean, for all he knew, we could be robbers. Doesn't look like there's a lot in here to steal anyways. Uh, uh, I'm tired after today's journey. Have you found the bed yet, Susan? I'll go look for it. You could stay here and try cooking some of what we acquired in the forest today. You know I'm a horrible cook. Oh well, I'll try. I found a bed downstairs. Okay, let's eat my poor attempt at making a stew and let's go see if we can get ourselves some sleep. We have a long trek in front of us tomorrow.
Susan, is everything okay? Susan, what's wrong? <gasps> By Talos, what was that? Susan, stay back! <sighs> I know there's someone in here. Ah! Susan! What happened? Why are your eyes... <laughs> Susan isn't here anymore, Gregory. My husband and I don't take too kindly to being disturbed in our own house. Your husband? <gasps> Where did she... No one ever saw that couple again. What? You're not scared yet? Well, I do have another story. This one is about the time.